Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? Um, this video is going to be about uh, what's going on in the UK. I have an update for you from my friend who lives in the UK. So this is going to be like a boots on the ground update, okay? Uh, she said, I thought I'd email you again with a couple of updates on things. So yes, more protests are going on today, Sunday, across the UK, this time involving Middlesbrough, Lancaster, Bolton, Aldershot, and Rotherham that I know of. Uh, the worst one being in Rotherham today, where protesters gathered outside a hotel housing Im uh, migrants. Some of the windows around the building were smashed, wooden fencing destroyed, and the planks of wood were thrown at the police along with other items. Some large windows at ground level were broken, then large recycling containers were set on fire. I'm not sure if protesters actually managed to enter the hotel, but protesters even managed to snatch riot shields from the police and one officer was badly injured. His colleagues had to drag him away as he could not walk. People who were filming were saying that the migrants were on the top floor flashing their backsides at the crowds outside, which in turn made things escalate by the protesters. What morals, man, you know? So she said, Saturday night in Liverpool, fireworks were being thrown at the police, shop windows were being smashed, and some shops looted, and then the library was set on fire. Oh my God. She said, I have sat and watched some vile, disgusting things go on this weekend from different groups of people, and there is absolutely no need for any of this. I agree with you 110%. Um, she said, apparently the prime minister has made another speech, but I don't know what he said because I didn't watch it yet. Um, but Yvette Cooper, the home secretary has vowed to protect the mosques and provide extra security. So now things are appearing on YouTube saying that this will make the whole situation worse, but we'll see what happens over the coming days. All courts are now going to be open 24 hours a day in order to process the ones that are arrested and charged at these protests. Although, I'm not sure if this is going to be a temporary or a long-term measure. Last but not least, there is no need to worry about me for the moment. I'm just, I'm just worried, you know, because you're my girl. You're like my best friend, you know, I'm just so worried. She said, I'm fortunate enough not to live in a major town or city. I'm in a very small town. It was originally a village and there have been no protests this weekend across the county that I live in. But of course, that could change. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's like, you know, I live in the suburb of Tampa. <laughs> you don't know if things are going to bull. You know what I'm saying? So she said, if these protests continue, is there a likelihood that they will spread to small towns? That is the question I've just seen a quick segment from GB News where they were discussing this and someone on the panel thinks these protests will indeed spread into smaller towns. Again, we're going to have to wait and see what happens. If anything kicks off near me, there is absolutely no chance of me going out or getting involved in it, not even an, in, as an innocent onlooker. So that's it for me from, for now. And here's a link. Okay, I'll leave that link in the description box. Um, to a very short news video concerning what happened in Rotherham today. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Just know that I love you and you're in my prayers. And I just, I worry about you. I worry because you're my friend, you know? All right, guys. Um, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one. Okay. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fearless. Ciao.